Well, the day had finally come when my old projection TV finally bit the dust for good. Then I had a minor flashback and remembered as a kid what I used to do to army men with a magnifying glass. Then it came to me. I'm going to make a solar death ray. It was time to get inside that old projection TV. So I started removing screws one by one, removed the whole back panel with the mirror, and continued to remove screws. I was finally able to remove the whole front cover. I carefully removed the plastic frames that held everything together and separated it from the front cover, which left me with the high-power Fresnel lens, which would become our solar death ray. I also salvaged some other cool stuff from this now-despised TV, like the projection lenses and the speakers, which were in perfectly good shape. I proceeded to build a pivoting wood frame for our solar death ray so I could adjust it for the most intense beam. After putting on a pair of welding goggles to protect my eyeballs, it was time to get to work. The first order of business was the remote control for that old TV. In a matter of seconds, it began melting and caught on fire. Then I decided to bring back some good old memories with a whole platoon of army men. They obviously didn't stand a chance against the solar death ray and became a big pile of goopy plastic. The solar death ray also easily ignited some fireworks, which was kind of fun. Then I thought, hey, I've got a spare million dollar bill. Why not put it up in smoke? And I proceeded to do just that. After all, it's only money. And now it was time for my ancient iPod to meet the solar death ray. I decided to load an appropriate song for its sad farewell, and taking care not to scratch it, I laid it down in front of the solar death ray. Bye bye iPod, I'm sure gonna miss you. So that's how to take an old projection TV and turn it into a solar death ray. Make your own and see what you can melt. And you may want to have a fire extinguisher handy too.